I'm I'm looking at coming in at how much uh what's the CPM a mile? Uh what about forty eight? So the cents per mile the cents per mile is determined by the hiring manager. So we don't have those exact breakdowns oh, okay. because they do take into account how many years you've been driving, how many miles you have, your safety record, everything like that. So you would know your cents per mile most likely if you were to make it to the in person interview. Oh. What's going on, guys? Lockout Man back again with another video for that ass. And welcome back to the Lockout Man podcast show. I am your humble host, Lockout Man. If I haven't said it already, you already know. And I appreciate you guys being here. In this episode, it is the M. TC edition. Yes, sir. Another make the call edition. If you guys like what I'm doing over here, if you guys like these calls, make sure you put some pressure on that like button. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you use this hand and just smash that like button. Let YouTube know that you're rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? And you like the and you like the information that I bring to you today. Well, in this episode, we're calling. Who are we calling? We're calling dot transportation, transport, transportation. We're calling dot transportation and they're located out of Mount Sterling, Illinois or Sterling, Illinois. Let me just click on that right quick and see if we can bring up the map. It is. Yeah. Mount Sterling, Illinois. <laughs> Yes, sir. We are we are calling Dot today, and we're going to give get a chance to find out what the company is about. Uh, I already talked to the young lady. Nice young lady. Cool conversation. Real smooth and everything. I like it. She didn't know, you know, she didn't know much, but she gave us just about enough information that might give you something to work with. Now, if you guys drive for dot transportation or have driven for dot transportation, let us know your experience by letting us know in the comments below. All right. All right. So let's get in. Let's get in to dot. Let's go to the big board. There we go. Dot transportation located out of Mount Sterling, Illinois about dot there. They started in 1960. Dot Foods founder Trace or Robert Tracy was making his first deliveries out of the back of a out of the back of a Tracy's family station wagon. Wow. Now Dot Transportation, DTI, operates a fleet over 1,300 trucks out of 12 different distribution centers across the country with the help of 2,000 plus employees. With growth that has allowed them to bring to bring more and more people into the DIT team. But despite our growth, job security, safety will never stop being uh, being their number one top priority. They say their job security is zero layoffs in the company history. Zero. The DTI has been around for over 29 years and they never laid off a single person not once not even in this in this pandemic i don't believe they laid anybody off either i didn't get the chance to ask that question but you probably might want to ask that question now when you give them a call uh their safety their corporate incentive and safety recognition program has encouraged our drivers to be some of the safest on the roads Plus, DTI is an industry leader when it comes to minimum personnel, uh, personal injuries to our drivers. DOT by the numbers, 12 distribution centers across the U.S., one corporate site, I mean, sales office. They deliver in 50 states and 35 countries, two locations in Canada, 29 years of service, zero layoffs, 2,000 plus employees, and 13% in diversity company wide since 2008 so man 
I, I, I seen a lot of their trucks out here on the road. And I've seen a lot of a lot of YouTube videos on this company as well. You know, now you guys, when y'all vet companies and trying to figure out a company, the thing that you do now is go to YouTube, right? Right? That's what you do. Let's uh let's let's jump over at Indeed and see what the company reviews is about. They got 405 reviews, but I was only able to find three or four of them this guy right here says great company he said i would get i would give five stars but there's no such thing as a perfect company of course not uh you'll always have to work though every week something will be there for you to do for you to do management is pretty good too well i mean this guy says i will give five stars but there's no such thing as a perfect company um he says the pros are getting paid to work out when having a when having to do a breakdown pay is good great people always joking around dispatch dispatch works with you uh works with you time off you're not a number to them the cons I wouldn't say that there are any bad cons, just a few, just a few things. No assigned trucks unless full-time OTR. I guess home time, I guess home time, but single, no kids, I don't mind. Sometimes late because of the warehouse failing behind, but it's not your fault. This guy right here says, decent pay, lazy leadership. Floor employees are work like mules while they're why the shift supervisors and trainers just sit in the office all day complaining about employees but don't contribute anything to the workload <laughs> this guy must be a this guy must be a warehouse handler and this one right here says 4.0 for those who like a challenge dlt is still a privately owned family company which shapes the entire culture you are treated as a member of the family business. The company wants you to succeed and seeks to share the company's success with all its employees. And the last one, which you probably can't see because you got to write a review for it. Not a bad, not a bad job. Very physical. Well, that's it. Uh, let's see. I asked them about their turnover rate. They have a small turnover rate. So if you guys is interested in dot transportation, give them a call. Let's find out what we're going to find out in this call. Discover recruiting. This is Georgie. Hey, Georgie. How's it going? Good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good morning. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a driver five years and I was just, uh, you know, calling different companies. I wasn't able to get a hold of the, one company that I was interested in, but I came across you guys in a in a Facebook group, and uh, and you know I went to do my research on you, and I seen a couple of couple of YouTubers talking about you, so I thought I'd give you guys a call to see what you guys got to offer. You mind taking a couple of minutes with okay. me so I can find out what you guys got to offer? For sure. And what is your zip code? Uh, four four one zero oh eight. It does look like you are in range for two of our uh, locations. Okay. What are they? Uh, it does look like uh, Ashtabula, Ohio, and Perrysburg. Okay. 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 Both out of Ohio. So that's mm -hmm. how, that's, it sounds good so far. So far. All right. So, of course, uh, again, I'm a, uh, like I said before, my name's Sean, and I'm a five year driver. So, I've been out here for five years. Uh, can you, now, I've seen, uh, as a matter of fact, I have seen a lot of trucks, uh, a lot of dot trucks out of the area, as a matter of fact. So I wasn't even sure if that was an Ohio based company or out of state company. But can you give me a brief background of the company? Yeah, so our company is based out of Illinois. Um, that is where our headquarters are. It's where our first location was. Mm -hmm. uh, a little information thing here. Um, so we're family owned business for the past 60 years. Um, the, um, people who run it now are the sons of the, of RT, which is Robert Tracy, who, um, created dot foods. Uh, we are the nation's largest redistribution of food. We have 
13 BCs and quite a few extra terminals. So the two out of Ohio will just be terminals. Those won't be warehouses attached to those. Um, okay. See here. Um, our trucks, we do haul only dry vans and reefers. Um, but it is ninety percent reefers. Right, right, because uh, um, because of because of the food, food. I take it, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, so, we do haul food, but we do also um, haul like cleaning products. We really say anything a restaurant would need, we haul. Okay. So everything from plates, silverware, uh, cooking utensils to cleaning products to the food that they would need. Um, and like I said, we are a redistribution, so we're kind of a middleman of a middleman. Mm-hmm. So we buy product from um, the big companies like Clorox, Hostess, um, those big companies that sell product by the truckload. So we buy full truckloads of product, we bring those into our warehouses, and then we sell smaller quantities to other warehouses who couldn't okay. store full truckloads okay. of okay. something. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what's up. So, yeah. so, do, so you guys, yeah. so you guys got two, uh, like, like two, like two lanes. But on the on the food side, what what do you guys mostly haul on the food side? Um, we haul anything that we have customers for. So, um. I mean, like I said, we are the nation's largest food dist- redistribution company. So, mm-hmm. um, really, any brand you can think of, any food you can think of, we've got in stock. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, after you guys, you know, after I, you know, if I once I get approved and everything, and I come in, what? Uh, so, coming into orientation, what might I? How would you guys get me out to Illinois, and what would I need to bring as far as paperwork? Um, you wouldn't actually have to come to Illinois at all. Um, oh, okay. For Perrysburg, all of your um, interviews and stuff are going to be through Indiana. Um, let me see here. That is where the closest DC we do have to you. Okay. So our process is you would need to um, apply online, and it does look like we don't have anything listed out of Ashtabula right now, but we do have our no touch and our delivery driver's positions open in Perrysburg. So once you go online and apply, we would be calling you to do an initial phone screen just to ask you a few questions. We'd send that phone screen on to Indiana. At that time, they would decide if they would like to see you for an interview. Um, if they did and you also wanted to go through with the interview, uh, we would set that up. You'd go in and speak to them. You would do a road test, um, all of that. Mm-hmm. After all of that, if they did still want to move forward at that time, they would bring you in for a PAT. That's just a physical abilities test, making sure um, you can lift anything needed. You can safely get in and out of the truck. And then it's just like a general physical. Um, and then after that, if you did pass everything up to that point is when there would be an offer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's so it's in stages, mm-hmm. pretty much. Uh, yeah. Yep. So of course the of of course the uh, application process all the way up to all the way up to getting in the truck. What 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 would be the how long would that be? Like you like would it be within a week, two weeks? Is it like I fill out the application and then I have to wait a week for a call or how I, what how is that broken? Well, down? so. Yeah, so once you fill out the application, we would be giving you a call within 24 to 48 hours. Um, And then after we send that on to the DC, it usually takes them about a day to respond. Um, And then they would set up the interview with you. So um, we usually say our process is anywhere from three to four weeks. Okay, 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 okay. That's what's up. What about uh what what about pre employment screening? Now do I do I do the drug tests before I come to you guys or during while I'm while I'm there? No, we we do all of we do all of that screening when uh you do the PAT. Oh, okay. Uh if what, you were to get to the that point. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. What about what about my what about my DOT card? Would I have to get a would I have to get another one with you guys if I already have one? Um, I'm not sure on that. I don't believe so. Um, but the PAT is just like our version of like a physical. It's just to make sure we uh, maintain our level of safety. 
Okay, okay, okay. So so let's say I pass all of that. I get in. I, I got my foot in the door. Uh, the, the the low end on a five-year, well, I'm not sure. I, I, the low end on a five-year driver such as myself can range anywhere between 45000 a year to like 70000 a year. Uh, could you probably give me a ballpark of what I'm looking at as far as my annual income? So, oh, okay. yep. So I do have ours for um, our Zanesville, Ohio. For some reason, I don't have the information for Perrysburg. Um, but out of Zanesville, mm-hmm. it looks like for five years, it'd be around 60000 in your first year. Um, well, let me see here. I'd say sixty to sixty-five thousand in your first year is what you'd be looking at. Okay, okay. So I'm looking at I'm I'm looking at coming in at how much uh what's the CPM a mile? Uh what about forty eight So the cents per mile the cents per mile is determined by the hiring manager, so we don't have those exact breakdowns oh, okay. because they do take into account how many years you've been driving, how many miles you have, your safety record, everything like that. So you would know your cents per mile most likely if you were to make it to the in-person interview okay 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 now being that you guys is located out of illinois are you guys a 1099 company or a w-2 company um i am not sure on the exact on that okay Okay, that's 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 uh. I that's don't a, have that information, but that would be a good thing to ask. Um, in Indiana, gotcha. they would have specifics on being out of state because I'm also in Illinois. So oh, okay, awesome. Uh, what what might what what else might be paid to the driver? Like breakdown pay, holiday pay, detention, layovers. Yeah, so we do have all those extras: detention, layover. We do have pickup pay. We have extended pickup pay if you get um stuck at a pickup for too long um all those it is activity based all of our pay is activity based so any extra work you do you'll get paid for we do also have um bonuses we do have mile per gallon safety and quarterly bonuses um and then we also have paid vacation you get 40 hours after your first 180 days and then two weeks after your first year and we also have eight paid holidays Okay, okay. What's up? That's what's up. What about uh now what about uh like how how many what's the miles that I can average a week? Like if you if you tell me that I can average, you know, like 3,000 miles or more, is that uh is that actually what I get when I sign up or would it would uh, miles fluctuate? They would most likely fluctuate just due to dispatch. I mean, they can't guarantee Um, But we do any extra work. Um, So I have some experience in dispatch as well, specifically up in the Chicago area. Mm -hmm. And there is always more work to be done. So any extra work you want to do, all you have to do is let your dispatch know, hey, I've got this much time on my clock. You have any pickups, any extra things I can go do to make sure you get those miles. Um, The more you want to work, the more money you'll make. Awesome. Is really how it goes here. Awesome. Mm-hmm. What uh? What about uh? What's what's the what's the percentage of the home time rate? Would I would it, now if I'm working out of what per, Perrysburg or Zanesville? Would I get home every week? Would I get? Do I need to be out two weeks? Uh, what's what's my yeah. home time? So um, yeah, both of those positions are our traditional schedule. So with that traditional schedule, you'd be dispatched out two to four days at a time. And you would average two days of home time per week. That home time is going to be your 34-hour reset. We do um, get our drivers home so they can do that 34-hour reset at home instead of doing it at a truck stop. Would that Now, let me ask you this. Now, you mentioned the 34-hour reset. So that won't be a full two days that I would get off? Like if I get home Friday and I come back on Monday? It's only the 34 that I will be nine times out of 10 coming back on sometime Sunday. Correct. So those two days will not be back to back. Um, and they would, like I said, change every week um, just depending on your activity. Okay. What uh, what the equipment you guys offer? Yeah, so we do um, operate mainly Volvos. We do have a few Peterbilt in the fleet. They are all traded in at 75 750,000 miles. Um, let me see here. They are all automatic. 
And then, like I said, we do haul reefer and dry vans, and okay. but we are ninety percent reefer, and our reefers run on three units. Now, what about uh, what what's what's inside the truck? What's the amenities that the drivers get inside the truck? Um, I do believe the trucks are pretty bare. Um, but with, there is a spot like for you to bring your own refrigerator. It is you have to like kind of quote unquote furnish it yourself. Gotcha. Um, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about a what about a driver cam? We do have outward facing cameras right now. Um, I'm not sure. I think they are taking steps towards the inward facing cameras, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Okay. Okay. So uh, with with <laughs> us with us drivers getting the rapport with 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 our potential fleet managers. Uh, Say like if we have an issue or something like that and we call the fleet manager and this is only, you know, based on if you know or not. But what if if what if I call my fleet manager, how long of a response that I would get back from him? So say like if I if I call him, would he respond back to me right away? Do I have to wait? Do I have to keep calling him to get a hold of him? What, what, yeah, what? so we have we have 24 hour dispatch. So our dispatch, we do have just regular dispatch. Um, and then we have our driver supervisors. And then it would be the transportation manager. And the transportation manager would be the driver's bosses. Um, but the drivers can get in contact with dispatch at any time. And dispatch, um, we, there's an on-call number. We also do have a gate station. And the gate station is trained on anything that the drivers may need as well. Um, and then along with our garage, our garage is also 24 hours as well. All right. What about uh, now being that you guys haul mainly food, what, what's the rider and pet policy there? We do not allow pets. That's and we do have a rider policy. You need to be with us for six months um, to get, have qualify to have a rider and then at that point you'd have to take that up with your transportation manager and then you have to fill out a little form mm -hmm. um people over the age of i believe it's 16 or 18 can do overnights but anyone under that age um would only be able to do turnarounds so they'd only be able to go on day trips okay okay leasing do you do you guys offer lease options there no i do not believe we do Okay. Okay. All right. Well, what about a what, what's your policies on felons? Now, I am not a felon, <laughs> but I'm just asking because you know I I I I um I network with a with a bunch of drivers that do have felonies on their backgrounds. Yeah. So um, we do take every application on a case by case basis. Um, we do require, the only hang up I can really see is we do require a um, hazmat and tanker endorsement. So you would need to be able to get both of those. And there is an extensive background check done on that hazmat. Right, right. Okay, okay. So but yeah, we do take everyone on a case by case basis. Mm -hmm. so, so you guys do require uh, has, hazmat and what'd you say, tanker? Tanker, mm hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, what type of. Y'all reefer, what, what type of hazardous material will we might be taking? Yeah, so it is just cleaning products. Oh, oh okay. So we do haul for Clorox and things like that. So bleach is a hazardous material. Oh, they consider that as a hazard. Okay, okay. Didn't, mm -hmm. didn't know that Yeah, much. I think they even consider like Windex a uh, hazardous material. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that much. Okay, yeah. okay. Cleaning supplies is hazardous. Yep keep that in mind <laughs> uh my last my, my last question uh my last question for you and thank you very much for uh taking the time with me um driver safety yeah, no what, what do you guys what do you guys offer for driver safety like you know if if you know 20 uh 2020 has been a tumultuous year for us drivers you know getting in situation where cities was doing these ridings and lootings and 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 pulling drivers out of their trucks and stuff like that uh what do you guys what do you guys do uh do for us for our safety out here 
Yeah, so we are a big safety-based company um, in the office, in the warehouse, and drivers especially. So uh, warehouse and drivers is a big safety thing for us. Um, We do, anytime a driver feels uncomfortable in a situation, doesn't feel um, that it's their best bet. I mean, I know, with like you said, with all this rioting, um, all the driver has to do is contact dispatch and say, hey, I'm not comfortable with this, um, and they'll pull you home. It's your safety, driver safety is number one. All right. So right. we'll get that delivered some other time. Um, and then also, like I told you before, we do have a safety based bonus too. So, um, yeah, driver safety is definitely driver safety and warehouse safety is number one. All right. Thank you very much. What will be, what will be you guys t- uh, turnover rate there? Um, I'm not sure. I do not have that number in front of me. All right. Well, that's uh, that's it. That's all I have. I will definitely take this information with me, and I will definitely share it with my, um, with my, uh, you know, my fellow truckers and my social media, you know, and stuff like that. So definitely, thank you for taking the time to, uh, to uh, talk to me. Um, would you by chance have any, uh, have any email that you could probably send me so that I can, uh, you know, post that. Yeah, actually, all of our um, information is on our website. So if you just go to drive four dot dot com. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. I'll link it. I'll link yep. it. Dot transportation, everybody. Well, what do you guys think of that call right there, man? Dot transportation. Uh, it seems that you probably might have to go through. Uh, Grow through some steps to get in with this company. I, I don't think this company is going to be all that easy uh, to get into. I mean, from what from what the young lady has said on the uh, on the call, she says that um, that you're going to have to fill out the application first, and if they see that the application is is good, then you'll go to talk to somebody, and then if that person thinks that you're good, then you'll move on to the next phase, and then to the next phase, and then to the next phase. So she said that uh, it would take about a good three weeks to actually, from from the beginning of the process to getting into a truck. It will be about three weeks. So this company right here, I, I think I, I am safely going to say that you need to pretty much have your shit together. I'm talking I'm talking cross the cross dot the I's cross the t's and all like that here's a tip for you make sure that when you apply for any company make sure that your background check is on point there's many ways that you can go and and pull a background check you can go to the sheriff's department in your state you could go to the uh courthouse in your state and and all that is public you know, it's it's public, so you can you can pretty much pull information about yourself if you want. I will suggest you do that, so that when you apply for a company like Dot, there won't be no surprise in your background. Everything that they'll probably see is what you'll probably see. You can go to Higher Right and pull your do your DOT and your PSP. You'll be able to do that. Make sure that you're, that you, when you go to do the drug test, period, point blank, stop smoking. Be clean. I would suggest if, if you're a smoker and you smoke weed every day, then I would suggest that you will wait about six or seven months before you even apply for this company right here dot transportation they are located out of mount sterling illinois but they got terminals all over you know if you're from ohio they got the zanesville terminal they got the perrysville terminal which is in indiana i believe i'm not sure if that's the closest one but they got a 
they got terminals all over. So depending on where you live at, you will probably be going to orientation to one of those terminals near you. Not necessarily Illinois, but one of those terminals uh, near you. Uh, if you want to know more information about DOT Transportation, you can give them a call at 877-896-896. Eight, yeah, eight seven seven eight nine six one six nine two. All right. Again, they're located out of Mount Sterling or Sterling. I'm sorry. Well, Mount Sterling, either Sterling or Mount Sterling, Illinois. If you guys also want to know more about them, they got a website, uh, drivefordot.com. If any of you guys that drives for dot or or that have worked for a dot, let us know in the comments below. Let, let us know your experience there. If you, a driver that wants to come on and, and express your experience about the company, yo, come on to Lockout Man Podcast Show and share it with us. You know, let us know at, from a driver's point of view how the company has treated you, if they treated you well. Is it even a company that's worth working for? or driving for all right leave your comments in the comments below or get at me on uh instagram or just email it if you feel like emailing it that's lockout man that podcast at gmail.com all right that's about it that's about it dot transportation dot transportation what do you guys think of the call man uh, if you guys like what I do and, and have some suggestions for future calls, definitely let me know. The easiest way to do it is to hit me up in the uh, DM over at Instagram. That's at Lockout Men. Or hit me up in the Gmail at LockoutMenPodcast. I mean, at gmail.com. Or simply leave your comments in the comments below on what company you like for me to call next. Support the cause, y'all. Hook a brother up with some coffee. The coffee app and the cash app is in the description below. You know what I'm saying? Give me some coffee. A brother is always thirsty. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Lockout Man Podcast, the MTC edition, as always. Come back every week for new calls to the company that you might be interested in until then y'all y'all take it easy y'all take it easy y'all stay blessed and i will come back at you guys with another video peace searching 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 searching